Today was the die for peace and it was in remembrance for uh, World War I and all of the uh, various uh, combatants throughout the world and for us to kind of remember uh, the sacrifice that was taken and uh, that we can hopefully not have that happen in the future. This is actually uh, Lookout Point, and uh, you can see actually the uh, the marker uh, right at the corner there. That's actually where we'll put the divers in. It's been told to me that's up around the corner, just on the beyond that marker is actually an old gun mount or some of the foundations for an original gun mount. So this was actually apparently designed to uh, be the protection uh, for the house sound area and the back door for Vancouver. It made for a good story when I heard it. So here we are. Today we were on the former HMCS Annapolis, which is a 366-foot uh, Canadian destroyer escort, uh, served in the Canadian Navy, built in 1961, launched in Halifax in 1963, and decommissioned in 1996, and in 2008 was sold to the Artificial Reef Society. Today we were touring the vessel after an extensive phase of uh, remediation to remove all of the insulating materials on the vessel. The Annapolis is the eighth project for the Artificial Reef Society and is the last of the great steam-driven destroyers. So once the Annapolis is sunk, that's the end of an era. Uh, we're delighted to have people come on board and take a look at the condition of the vessel after the remediation and to get a sense of the scale and the extensive preparation that was put into the project over the years by scores of volunteers who uh, are dedicated to, uh, to helping the Reef Society fulfill its mandate to sink the ship in Hulk at Bay this year. It's really great, I think, to get to see something that may have lost its purpose in the Navy at this point, decommissioned, but can serve another purpose, become a habitat, become um, a recreational, usable uh, part of our heritage. I actually joined to be a diver, so this is actually uh, kind of nice to see this before it gets sunk, and a uh, pretty unique experience. You can never say enough thanks for the, the people that, uh, that risked their lives and, and, and some that, that lost it. Uh, for me to be able to do this today, I feel great to be part of that, uh, you know, even though it's just a small part many years later, but just to be in the Navy and say I'm part of the same establishment that sent those people to, to fight for our freedom so many years ago is just a, it's such a great feeling. The day was awesome, lots of good people, a lot of good fun, and uh, the diving was great. Fantastic, had a lot of fun. Kevin and Jen made it really, really awesome, and so did the Seacook TV. My day was lovely. Well, the dive was great, but seeing the Annapolis was fantastic. I visited a ship that's about to be the bottom of the sea. I dove twice and had a fantastic time. I think it went fantastic. We had uh, 19 divers in the water for the uh, first annual Dive for Peace and lots of smiling faces and I think everybody had a great time today.